I got spit roasted by technology on the weekend. <laughs> Sorry, last week. Yeah, so what's it called? A coloscopy. Colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. And an endoscopy. What's an endoscopy? Down the throat. Oh, so they went to see your, your puku and then they went to see your asshole. Correct. Do it in throat. Just penetrated at both ends, I would you argue. You basically double dropped. Simultaneously. Oh, sorry. I mean, shelved and dropped. Yeah, correct. <laughs> correct. I did. And? Can I just... Were yeah. you, you were asleep, right? No, I requested to remain awake. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, nah, no. Nah. Daddy wants to see what happens in the, in the surgical room. <laughs> what? So what do you remember just... Ta- I remember drinking. trying to fight it. Why I, I, would you try and fight it? I lo- I've been, I've had that many surgeries in my life <laughs> where I've had to be knocked out because of fucking broken bones and all sorts of shit that it's become kind of normal to me. Initially, when you first won, when you first go under an I reckon I've been under 10 plus times. Really? Yeah. I've only gone under twice. Underwater. Just with a nose plug. <laughs> You were too buoyant as a child. You couldn't get down there. <laughs> Have you been couldn't knocked even... to un- anaesthetised? Yes. So I had to get some um, like the female like cancerous cells removed. Oh, yep, yep. And they just knock you. Like I remember the lady. I just remember looking up and the lady being like, "All right," and then just woke up like four hours later. It's mad, isn't it? And I was pissing myself, laughing, laughing to the guy next to me in the hospital bed, mm. trying to eat this little cheese sandwich, but he wasn't laughing because he was obviously off the kind of gas. And so I was just being like... <laughs> oh, were you? Were you? He was looking at me like, you weirdo. Oh, I've never had the laughing thing. Oh, mate. I've never... Ha- I woke up like pissing myself laughing. Really? Yeah, it was. I thought it was so funny. Like for a solid like 10 minutes, I was just like giggling. That's fucking weird. I've only ever, ever just woken up. Mm-hmm. From them I've never had the gut I've had I think a bloke gave me Like ketamine once though Before I was going into The surgery surgery, Because On purpose One of my hand surgeries And he was like He was like um, We had a mutual friend From Walker He knew a bird I knew from Walker Mm. Who I went to school with And I said Yeah man I know her And he goes Mate you seem a little nervous Before the surgery And I said No mate I'm fucking fine I I do this all the time He's like No no you seem a little nervous I think I'll give you something To like Calm you down a bit And I'm like Oh, yeah, okay, like wink, wink. I'm like, yeah, mate, I am fucking shitting myself. Mm -hmm. And he gave me this stuff. I already had the IV and like the drip in or whatever. And he gave me this stuff and it just felt like I was in a dream. Isn't ketamine meant to like wake you up? No. Is ketamine the horse tranquilizer? My brother got really badly burnt. He a, a gas bottle exploded on him and he got third degree burns to like 40% of his body. What? Hot and will? Hot will, yeah. And he's still hot. Still hot. Still hotter well, than he was, you. He was a lot hotter when the fucking gas tank exploded, let me tell you. Literally, he was on fire. Yes, he was hot. <laughs> <laughs> hot, hot, hot. He was lava. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and he was on ketamine for, for an extended period of time, like a week, weeks. But people use it as a recreational drug. It's a horse tranquilizer, yeah, and they use it recreationally. But that's also what they give burns victims because it's the best for the pain and shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. So what happened when you woke up? This time around. I just woke up and I was like, hey, how you going? And I was starving because, okay, so let me just get into it. Mm. Lou, it is. Lucky I've had dinner. Lucky you've had, well, you might come back up. <laughs> Getting the, pre, the prep for a colonoscopy is truly one of the most humbling experiences one can ever go through. Just shit everywhere. Buddy, so you've got this stuff called movie prep. Now you've got to stop no. eating. I had to stop eating like from 11 o'clock the day before. To to start prepping, mm-hmm. right? Because you've prepping essentially the got shitter. To, prepping the shitter. You've got to clear the f- everything out. Yeah. Anyway, you buy this stuff, and it's like put these two sachets in a liter of water and drink it over an hour and a half. Now, I thought if you can get cunts onto the moon, surely you can make a laxative that doesn't taste like what I assume a dog's asshole would taste like. Wouldn't you just add like a Barocca to it? Didn't know what you could. I, I don't. It wouldn't oh, help. Oh, and you also don't know what you can and can't have. Yeah, correct. Because you can't have coffee or nothing really. You can have coffee. It's very strict though. You're basically. I for dinner I had um, chicken broth. Oh. Just bone broth. Just I, lo- water. I love a bone broth. It, but not by itself. I'd quite like to try this. Move it. Syrup. Uh, Lou. No, I, I want. No, no. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> I. I did it, hour and a half, and then I go, I don't know if this shit's going to work on me. I don't, and then it went, 
You tell me where. And I went, oh, maybe it will. Here we go. Have you just got one bathroom? Yeah. Ooh. I, I suggested to the roommates that maybe stay you steer clear for as long as you could. And I take this stuff, mate. I go to the bathroom and I'm not going to get too graphic because bedwetters, you don't really need the, that in your ears when you're just trying to fucking go to work or whatever you're doing, you know what I mean? But let me tell you, I, I rained down on that toilet bowl like... like it was like a hurricane. It was like... A storm. Hurricane Judge Trina <laughs> in the latrine. Hur- hurricane Latrina. Yeah, yeah it, when you speak, I, I don't know why my brain does this, but I go to like visuals... Well, that's what you humans do, buddy. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's pretty normal. <laughs> pretty normal thing to sort of do. No, but like, I'm not going to, no. So it anyway, clears you out, it. clears you out. Yeah, I'm in Whatever me. you've got there. And then it gets to the point, you've got nothing to clear out. So you know what it is? Just water. You just piss Just liquid. Water. It's so yellow. shitting water. It, literally, it's, it, you're shitting water. And mate, then you have to go to bed. So I was on, I reckon the toilet the first night for... All up, two and a half hours. You've got to wake up the next morning at 6 a.m., mm. make another fucking batch of the shit, do it again, do it all over again till you get to the plate. So I hadn't eaten for like 30 hours. Oh. By the what time was, I, What was your first meal? Egg and lettuce sandwich. That's what they gave you. I, mm. And that's my favourite sandwich. I couldn't believe it. Egg and lettuce. I love egg and lettuce sandwiches. I like a, um, just a classic club sammy, like chicken, mayo and um, cap. Uh, lettuce, cabbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the best. Lettuce, yeah. One of the best. But if I'm going on a road trip, wherever I'm going, I stop at a servo. No, you e- do yep. not. Servo egg and lettuce sandwiches to me are unbeatable. Mate, that's like you're asking for food poisoning. Never had it once. Stir, 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 stir. She's yeah, articulate again. I think you need some of this Dr. V clarity and focus, to be honest. <laughs> You've stopped at the servo and you're getting an egg and why not Every- just get like a cheese and ham? Can't I just fucking like what I like? But I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this as a friend. I'm concerned. What? I'm worried. <laughs> hey. I'm worried about your gut and getting food poisoning with uh, that uh, eggy sandwich. Would you go to the supermarket and the ones that are discounted and it's egg? All the time. Mate, you're asking. Never you're had, asking never had a, a problem. You're asking for sal- salmonella. Sal- 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 salmonella, yeah, you yeah. can get it from eggs, but like, um, nah, they're grouse. I, I love, don't get me wrong, I love an egg sandwich. Do you love an egg and lettuce sandwich? I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way for it. I'd go out of my way for a chicky, and then I'd probably go ham and cheese. You'd never go a servo egg and let. Like, I mean, if I was feeling wild. Okay. If I was feeling crazy. you feel risky. Perhaps I'd go, I'm going to run the gauntlet here and go. With an egg and letty. Fucking egg and let. Jeez, you're a wild bitch. But usually I'm a, I'm a chick girl. Yeah. I'm a wild chick. Yeah. <laughs> you crazy <laughs> thing. A, you go full uh, club sandwich. Uh, you want bacon uh, on that club, don't you? Well, I was just stoked that after I've been spit roasted by technology, that the first thing was a coffee with some, and I love coffee Ooh. and bickies, and just like, just bickies, just a bloody um black coffee, you know what I mean? Five. What? Can I have some bickies? Can't. You've got three fucking teddies you uh, sleep with. Calling them bickies is an Australian I've thing. I believe. Yeah, mm, mm. <laughs> you just asked him, I'm five. Uh, yeah, mm, I don't think I've got three. Oh, sorry, you got rid of one, did you? You got two teddies <laughs> in your bed. No, sorry, guys. She so got two on her bed, not three. At least I don't call them Beckies. Excuse- and have egg and let Sam's. <laughs> Never call it an egg and let Sam. Let me tell you that. <laughs> let me tell you that for free. But um, I, I was just, you know, I was really happy. You're just happy to be off the spit. <laughs> yeah, I had my first spit roast. I was like, okay, doke, no, tick that off the bucket list. Tell the grandkids about that one. What's, what's a spit roast again? A spit roast is when there's a woman in the middle. And oh, I don't. A guy, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, uh-huh, se- I got it. Got it. Got uh, it. Got consensual it. coitus with her from the book of Hine in doggy style, and then there's uh, there's a man at the front, just essentially. Um, well, she's performing fellatio on the gentleman in front of her, so she's being done um, consensually uh, coitus from the back, and she's performing fellatio on the gentleman in front of her. Coitus. That's that guy, um, Russell Coitus, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it's Russell Coit. Oh. Coit is a uh, a slang term for an asshole. Like a coit, it's oh, so an Aussie, bu- it's bush term, yeah. Russell asshole. Yeah, essentially. Huh. You know? Huh. But that's what a spit roast is, and that's what happened with me, but the, with cameras. Yes. But, mate, it, but was, an, it was an ordeal. You're, in, you're all in the clear? How Get all the results well? and stuff tomorrow, but, oh, mate, they had to cut some polyps out of me. Yep. Now, 
not too fucking sure what a polyp is, but I know it's just a growth. And I've got severe uh, reflux issues and there was a lump or something in my throat. I get the results tomorrow, but he, he, he was happy. So He's I'm happy. happy. Okay. I'm not worried Reflux, at all. quickies. That helps. It does, but I've got, yeah, it's fucking pretty bad. Oh, really? Mm. Which I sometimes get reflux if I have too many Granny Smith apples. Uh, see, sorry. now hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How many Granny Smith apples is one eating in one sitting? S- s- like usually one, but sometimes I have three. Why? I just love a Granny Smith. Do you? I just love a Granny Smith. I have one a day. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, senorita. <laughs> I love Granny Smiths. Like they're the worst apple, no, uh, the green ones, uh, 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 the green uh, ones. Uh, Ski Hughes, me Jack. The sourest of the apples. Yes, Lulu loves it when it's sour in the back of my throat. <laughs> okay, but what, what have you sorry. taken? No, there's just water in here. Okay, just water. But back to the Granny Smith mm. at Harris Farm around the corner from mine. Yeah, they've got these. Big fuckers, like these big juicy mamas, like the size of like both my hands, both my palms, just m- merged into one. If it was the shape of a circle, and well um, explained. And really well explained. They, could have just said like a fucking soccer ball or something. Or. Yeah, well, that I could also have said that. And but I've got to cut them up because I've got a fake tooth, so I can't just bite an apple. So I'm again like a child. Yep. Yep. So yeah. then I, I line up my three teddies and we each have a... I'm kidding. You each have a fucking quarter <laughs> of an apple quarter. each? No, but because of my fake tooth, I can't just bite into an apple. Really? So I have to cut them up and have little um, triangles. So ha- so you couldn't eat like a Toblerone? Well, I could, but I just have to eat it on the side of my mouth. So it's not very attractive. Like I'll get something... You know, if I had like a sausage... What? I'd have to... <laughs> I didn't even. That was all you. I know. I don't know why my brain went to sausage. Like of all the things I could say, uh, yeah. a cyclone. Oh my god! Again. Oh. My. So any phallic uh, shaped food, anything shaped like. If a, I'm eating an apple, a hard piece of cucumber, cu- <laughs> a corn. <laughs> if I'm eating a corn, yeah. Um, yeah, I've got to eat most of it on like the side of my mouth. Like I could bite into some things, but not soup. Like a burger, I could bite into, but I just got to be careful because the old tooth could fall out. Really? Now, which tooth is it? The front one, Franco. Oh, my that's dad, right. Yeah, that's right. job dentist. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. now a veneer. For a while, when it was just a the one, I don't know. There's something else. They just stuck it back on. It fell out like three times. Really? One time, my friend's mum were at her beach house. She was like, "I helicopter you back to New Zealand." I'm sorry, back to Auckland. And I was like, nah, well, you just take me to the local dentist. And he stuck it back on. Pretty good to have a mate that could just helicopter you back to fucking wherever you wanted to go. Yeah, but I just thought, chuck him back on. Chuck him back on. Chuck bitch. the tooth back on. No, I, don't give I was a, a fuck. hillbilly for a. Can I say that word? Yeah. Oh. Who are you going to offend? Fucking hillbillies. I don't know. All the farmers who listen. <laughs> sorry, guys. Hey, they're not hillbillies. Oh, oh, oh shit. Jesus ah. Christ. Sorry, sorry, sorry I'll boy. be cutting no, that. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, about it. That's I fucking didn't, disgusting. No, I, I didn't mean, I just God, thought. God, Jesus Christ. I thought they'd be offended by that word. What, uh, what so you're saying all farms no, are fucking oh, hillbillies? Fuck, oh, don't you know judge. what? It's disgusting the don't, way you I'm gonna approach cut. it. No, it's disgusting, <laughs> Louisa. Now show some fucking respect. How do you get food on your table? We're all those hillbillies out no, there. No, they're these, not. They slapped your cunts. Hey? Stop it. They grow, it. they grow us meat and delicious vegetables and fruit. Oh, but according to you, they're all just no, slap jawed fucking don't. yokels rooting their sisters. Don't. Now, I'm really sorry oh, about you, it. You just said that, well, not me. Well, that's a hillbilly stereotype. I'm really sorry about Louisa today, guys. She, it's fucking disgusting. Anyway, you're doing a fucking great job. Thank you. What have you got to say to the farmers, Lou? I'm sorry, everyone. I didn't mean it. I didn't know what I was saying, and I apologise. Not all farmers are hillbillies, are they? Not all farmers are hillbillies. I didn't even mean it like that. It just came out as word vomit. I don't think that at all. I thank you for the steak on my plate, the corn in my mouth, the sweet potato mash, and the (laughs) creamy potato (laughs) mash. (laughs) Every day. Thank you. Yeah, she does. All right. That felt sincere. No, it it was. Yeah. Big time. It was. Yeah, no. One of my favourite things of all time. Sausages, creamy mash, peas and gravy. Bangers and mash? Yeah. Do you like peas? Yeah. I love peas and I feel like a lot of people are like, Ugh, peas, a waste of a vegetable. Fuck off. Who's ever said that? I've had a few people say it to me. Really? And I just go, uppercut, hook, jab, cross. <laughs> so you, you violently assault them when they don't like a food you don't like. Yeah. You must have been popular at school. Well, I'd usually just, you know. Jump onto them at age eight and sort of squash them. <laughs> it was Oof. one shot, one shot only. Because if you if you missed them, you'd 
number one, expended all the energy, the little energy that you had as a child. And number two, you would likely end up on your back like a lady beetle or a turtle. <laughs> just <laughs> call mum again. Yep, Lulu's down. Lulu's down again. Call, call mum. Jill would come in with her fucking the Lulu stick and she just <laughs> prop you up. Get you back over. Get you back over. <laughs> like, like, oh yeah, yeah, come correct. on, come on. Over. And even the kids you were trying to assault, they were trying to help just get Lulu back onto her feet. Yeah, you sweet thing. You know how we uploaded a throwback Thursday photo of me? Yeah. On the We Me yeah, 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 Instagram. Yeah, yeah. The comments were Fuck so me. funny. Fuck, that was funny. I was like actually crying with laughter. And so I uploaded it to my own Instagram, the comments, because I was pissing myself. And then bless, people were messaging me being like, these people are so cruel. I hope you're okay, Lulu. And I was like, no, no I'm, I'm posting this because it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. yeah. I just got another one today. I'll what read it out to you. Someone said. The bedwetters are fucking funny. They are dude. so funny. Like we literally have the funniest followers. This guy goes, fuck me, you were the inspiration for Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> the Pokemon. Holy shit. And then someone else goes, the Fiona and Lord Farquhar from Shrekhead Kids. <laughs> Wrecked. They're so good. Oh. No wonder you had to develop humour. Uh, you know, I actually did think that. When I looked at that photo, I'm like, "That's this is why Lou is funny. Because I was a chunky little monkey. Yeah. And I was a chinless yeah. wonder. Yeah. I also reckon growing up with two older brothers helped me. I think if I had older sisters, I'd be a bit different. I agree. And I'd I be a bit more. I think it'd probably thicken your skin up a little bit. Big time. They put my head in the toilet and stuck carrots up my nose. Yeah, that is aggressive, isn't and it? And made me bang my head into the um, table while they had their hand That's underneath. That's right. That's just genius, though. Yeah. You I'm going to try and get that with people, I reckon. That'd be a fun game at the pub. You could probably get someone really drunk or someone that's eight. Oh. So like, I reckon if it hadn't happened to me at, when I was younger, you could have got me. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Like, can you play that spoon one? No. I oh, will play the spoon one at some What time. is it? Is it that spoon game where you're playing cards and then there's four spoons in the middle of the table and then you've got to grab the spoons when you get all four cards? No. Or tongues? No? What? Okay. Anyway, should we start the pod? <laughs> No, it's when you put a spoon in your mouth and you whack the other person on the head, whoever gets it harder. you never never done that. How do you do it? So you could got to put, some people are really good at it, some people are shit at it. Mm. Put the spoon in your mouth. Oh, and, and go, doof. Whack them on the head. Oh, that sounds fun. So you got to put your head down, they whack you. Doof. We'll play that. Have we got a spoon here? You want to play? Yeah, I'll play. You go get it. Narcissistic behaviour. <laughs> yeah, correct. Yeah, I'll, I'll we got the spoon in the mouth. Yeah, so lift your head back and whack me on the head. Not, not bad. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, I feel like you're going to be really good and it's going to hurt. There you go. Ow! Ow! Good. Do I go again? You go again. Well, how does it work? Do you just keep going? I'm quite good at that. You are pretty good. Head down. Ow! What? You used your hand. <laughs> you used your hand. <laughs> You use your hand that time. <laughs> cheating. I'll fucking get you. <laughs> You're supposed to have someone standing behind you and they're whacking them on the back oh. of the head really hard. And you go, how the fuck is this guy hit me so hard? But I had to improvise and do it by myself. Did you do both of them with your hand? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, dude. That was the whole point. <laughs> I was thinking, whoa, you're pretty good at that. Yeah, Mine seemed quite hard, though. It for truly was. Out of, oh. Truly was. Okay. Out. But Never I respect mind. the effort. <laughs> Roadcaster Pro. I've still got the Uber driver from the other night, Aaron's Corolla. Aaron's Corolla. My Sharona. My Corolla. Um, Aaron's mom has got it going on. <laughs> Jachi's favourite time. Favourite time of the week. It's Hinge Winges. Let's hear some absolute fucking lemons. Try um, and get roots. I, yeah, I went for a big old <coughs> big old scroll last night to find some goodies for you. Thank you. Um, last time you told me I wasn't prepped, so go fuck yourself. You fucking weren't. I was. It's just I've got so many in the saved folder called Hinge Notes mm. that I didn't know where to find the besties. Yeah, we'll just start them and then I use start them. them, but then I also had last week's. It was an error on my behalf. That's exactly right. It wasn't warranted for how rude and mean you were. It wasn't rude and mean. I just said, come prepped. No, I think you may have also called me a cunt. <laughs> so 
I can neither confirm or deny that because it's very fucking likely, isn't it? Very <laughs> likely. All right, so let's see what we got. Um, okay, this guy has said, like for tips about. Good morning, beautiful. What? Like for tips about good morning, beautiful. I don't want to, uh, is, yeah. I want to show. I'm going to show you this face. <laughs> that, very fitting, isn't it? It is. His voice isn't too bad. It was fucking shocking. Though. I thought he hit the notes, all right. Re- of course you did. You are you are notoriously fucking tone no, deaf, buddy. That's how I sound in my head. Really good. Oh yeah, I know. But to all of us, all the poor bedwetters and everyone else that is subjected to that, it sounds like some form of medieval torture. <laughs> I went back and watched my latest singing video, and I, when I posted it at the time, I reckon I was like, oh, this is, like, bad, but it's not, like, that bad. When I watched it back the other night, I was like, wow, this is fucked that this is online. It's pretty bad. <laughs> When's your next thing? Uh, well, not the week before I do the live performance. I've only got one more left. Oh, do you? Yeah, so we need to set a date. <coughs> we do. We really need to, because I'll, I'll start practising. Fucking want to. Well, I've been practicing, but I need to practice in front of people. Yeah, and a lot more. Um, Yeah, yeah, we'll set a date. We'll set a date and then we'll put it on our socials so anyone that wants to come can come watch Lou crash and burn in front of a whole crowd of people. Excuse me, senorita. Doesn't seem like you're very fucking... Mate, I'm going into my folder. Okay, this guy has said, I want someone who... I want someone who can play golf. I like it. I like Straight it. Straight to the point. Straight to the fucking point. He does. He's not face. He just wants a golfer. That's it. I don't mind it. I like it too. And then I guarantee you your first date would be at the driving range. He he almost sounded a little frustrated. Like he goes, yeah. I want someone who can play golf. Yeah, he's like over he it. Was, he's like, I'm fucking, does anyone fucking play golf? All he's been doing is going out with girls who paint, girls who do he, pottery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants a golfer. Let the man have a golfer. God, can he just get a golfer? <sighs> you play golf? Uh, you, yeah, I swing a club. I do. I'm not bad. Okay. No, I, I'm. Are you really? I'm good really at it? good at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I actually am pretty good, Judge. Oh fuck me swinging. No, I'm pretty good at golf. Let's go to the driving range. Let's film it. Let's put Done. it on. Um, Let's do that. Manuel. Done. <clears throat> I'll show. I'll show you with the, what's the big mama called again? The um driver. Driver. I'm very good with the driver. Bedwet as you heard it. If we're going this week. Yep. Done. Sold. Bedwet for life. I'll take you down, motherfucker. No, you won't. Uh, okay, this guy has said my most spontaneous thing I've ever done. Yeah, so the most spontaneous thing that I've ever done is gone to Canberra uh, on a road trip uh, after watching a movie. It would have been around 10 p.m. at night, and I had a few days off work, so I ended up uh, packing my bag and got there three hours later. So it was really good. Whoa. And uh, had Whoa. a good time. Holy, hold, hold him hold back. Hold on. Hold this guy back. He's gone to Canberra on a spontaneous <laughs> ACT trip. And not only did I do that, but I um, I visited Questacon and uh, uh, partook in some science and technology um, learning, which was really spontaneous, really fun as well. Look, I will say I love a spontaneous man. Mm. So at least, you know, you know, you don't know... You, you will not know what you're going to get with him. Yeah. He could randomly wake up at 3am. Oh, and be gone. <laughs> we're going to Bendigo <laughs> this time. We've had our fun in Canberra. Look, it's not it's not that spontaneous, is I, it? I just love that, like, out of all the things in his whole entire life that are spontaneous, Yeah. that's the most memorable to chuck on your hinge. Yeah, I, sky, I fucking skydive naked. Fuck it, you know? Yeah, like, no, nah, I left for Canberra at 10pm. Correct. I got there three hours later, and let me tell you, I had fuel in the tank, didn't have to stop at a servo, but I did, because I felt like a vanilla Coke. So, call me crazy, I'm a pretty wild guy. <laughs> Please, I reckon he'd be so kind. I think he'd be a sweetheart. The sweetest I actually soul. feel bad dissing him there, because he sounds like a real sweet guy. Absolute sweetie. Um, okay, and this guy has said, I'm looking for... I know what I want, and if I find what I want, I'm definitely going to be stepping up to the plate and giving it my best shot. But I'm curious, have you done the work? Are you developing your emotional intelligence? And are you pursuing something you're passionate about? What is it? Um, Judge, you know I love a self-help book. That just gives off creepy 
Taken vibes to me. You know the movie Taken where he's like, I will find you. Yeah, everyone knows the movie Taken. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, I was, you took the words out of my mouth. He's been rummaging through your shit. He's been under my bed. He's got your self-help, self-help books. books. He thought he would have lured me in with that. It just came across not, um, not genuine. It was something creepy self-help about that, to be honest. He, he's trying to lure something in, you know what I mean? And I guarantee he owns a white van with very tinted windows. I um, and I've got an absolute ripper to finish. Mm-hmm. This well, the one last is guy was like Jack the Ripper, so let's hope this is actually <laughs> fucking good. Jesus. Yeah, this one is my biggest date fail. Okay, so my biggest ever dating fail was getting nice and cosy with a girlfriend at the time, early doors, watching TV, cuddling up. Thought she had a thread on her skirt. Decided to pull it off for her. Turns out I pulled a tampon straight out, heavily used. I've oh. been more embarrassed in my life. What did he drop? Oh, he thought it was thread on his thread. Was thread. <laughs> he thought it was a thread. And he's yanked her tampon out. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Like, that, for the whole situ- it's not just on him, like that whole situation. Like how do you, where do you go from there? I don't know. Like, I'm thinking about it. He's saying he's got he's thought he's helping you'd out. Just oh, pop a, a, you'd pop it back a, in, wouldn't you? There's a bit of thread from your <laughs> Dress. Oh, I'll yank that. Oh, sorry about that, Dale. No, let me just pop that back in where it is. That's not going back you in. You can't go back no, in. No, that's that's out now. That's out now? Yeah, that's going in the in the bin or the toilet. <laughs> so that's just probably fl- flang- flailing around. Or a vampire's cup of tea. Because <laughs> they are blood. That is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> Don't judge vampires. Mate... Yuck. <laughs> I want to suck your tampon. Like, what the? What is wrong with He's you? Just... Don't know. <laughs> Judge just did the, as if you're like dipping it into it. <laughs> that is so wrong. Well, fuck, I'm just saying. One of the bedwetters sent that, sent that in, and I was like, I bloody hope Judge doesn't hear this one. I was like gobsmacked when I heard it. I'm so glad you got Surely to that, that can't be real. It, well, I, I believe him. <laughs> oh, I would have loved. No, actually, I was about to say I'd love to be a fly on the wall. I wouldn't have loved to be a fly on the wall. I just mean like would love to have heard that. No, I, I would have loved to be the fly on the wall to see how they react. Correct. Like what? What do you reckon she would? Oh my! Oh god! And then he would have gone. Oh my! Well, she would have been like, "What the fuck are you doing?" He's like, "I thought it was a thread. I thought it was a thread. It was my tampon." Well, tuck it. Oh, I don't know. Sounds like you're trying to create a mangina. <laughs> One of my favourite party tricks. Do you often do that? I do like to do it. I was, I was about to say show us. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Last week me saying show us your nips. Yeah, this yeah. week show us your mangina. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's getting very, very aggressive this Sorry. workplace and we don't have an HR department here. No, no. You get away with murder. That's actually a valid point. No, HR who's HR basically is Tobbs. Correct. And yeah. Tobbs just kind of giggles. He just laughs away. <laughs> it's like, whatever. Yeah, so play on. <laughs> Bedwitters for life, mate. Bedwitters. They were good hingies. <laughs> Thank you, because I do my prep and I do my homework. Yeah, that was... And I'm dedicated to this podcast and dedicated to my art. You did this week anyway, so good work. Every week. Well. When do I not come with phenomenal chat? Well, I'm really good at it. You are really good at it. Thank you. <laughs> really good at it. We're going golfing this week. Yeah, we're going. And I'll Driving show you range. up. I'll fucking swing that club, mate. You won't know what's hit you. Probably a golf ball. Oh, who's that? Oh, and smacks me in oh, the fucking teeth. It's Louisa Woods. Oh, oh, who's that? It's Louisa Coe. Okay. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's Louisa Gilmore. Gilmore. Yeah, I understood the reference. Thank you, though. Oh, who's that? It's yep. Louisa McGavin. <laughs> McGavin. Shoot him. Shoot him. Someone will literally be there and be like, someone fucking shoot her. Someone shoot her. No. Yeah. Leave me be. That was a pun on McGavin. Shoot a McGavin. Oh. See what I did there? Shit, to be honest. Mine were better. Mine were really good, actually. <laughs> it's <were> really good. <laughs> Bro, I can't wait for you to swing a club and just fucking kook it. No. I don't think you've got the... I don't think golf's in your wheelhouse, mate. Mate, when I went to Ayana with Tor, we went to, you know, in Bali, mm. we did the little bloody nine putt, hole. Putt. The putt putt. No way, you just putted a ball. No, the not fucking... putted it. I swung it so it bloody went from one end of the bloody course to the other. No way. Yep. Um, trust me. I've played at Royal Sydney before. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter where you played. One time a lady, I was in the bunker, and the lady said to me, good shot. It was an absolute fluke, but I fucking got it out and bang, straight in the hole. Okay, maybe there's more to it, but this is very reminiscent of you telling telling me you're good at everything. Like when we played darts and you missed the whole fucking dartboard. You said, I'm really good at darts, and you missed the whole thing. And proceeded to take them out of your hand when you hadn't finished playing. Correct. (laughs) Just took them. Mine. Yeah, like a child. I'm really good at this. Took the darts out of my hand, threw one, missed it. I said, maybe hand those back to the adult. They've got a pointy end. You might hurt yourself. Sometimes I can't believe I'm 29. Yeah, I know, but we're all we're all children really at art. I'll be 40 front left at a festival. I won't be. No, you hate festies. Hate them. I, lo- I, I love a festival like Rufus. Froth. I'll be going this weekend. He's from Lightning Ridge, that bloke. Skulls what are the his mates boys? The lead singer, Skulls, his mates with him. Apparently oh, he, he used to text Skullsy when he just moved to Sydney being like, hey, bro, we're in a band and blah, 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 blah. And Skulls is like, yeah, mate. We'll, and he's like, catch up for a beer. And Skulls is like, yeah, yeah, we'll catch up for a beer. And, and now yeah, look at him. Never did. And then he's a fucking Rufus. Is Skullsy really the one that I met in the weekend? Yeah, correct. So I was sitting in the park having a picnic with a couple of girlfriends. <laughs> And we were literally being like, oh, there's just not a single man out there. Like, no one's in our DMs. Like, no one's messaging us. There's no men. Where are all the men? And then we turn around and about 60 blokes hop off a boat and start walking towards us. (laughs) And then it just shows that nothing changes from, like, age 5 to 30. The boys are on a stag do and they start doing running races. (laughs) Like, the dad as well. And Lou. Tops off. Lou, through her naivety. So the boys all get off, a bunch of bushies, and I've always said no one loves uh, rippers more than a bunch of bushies mm-hmm. coming in for a bucks party because it's like, oh, we're on here. So Lou, they all walk off and stuff, and there's these two birds with a bunch of blokes, and Lou's going, why, why the fuck would those girlfriends go to this bucks party? I mean, it's just ridiculous that they f- f- like, oh, yeah, we get it. We're one of the boys. <laughs> no, it wasn't the girlfriends. It was the, the strippers. strippers. <laughs> like the, these are the strippers, not the missos. The boys look like they're having a good time, though. <laughs> Those running races keep them occupied for about 45 minutes. Yeah, I, I, I just cannot think of anything worse than being full of fucking grogs and then sprinting through mm. a park in the middle of... And then one of your friends brought me over a... Um, one of those yellow beers that you call a mango, a uh, 2XU. A 2XU, yeah, nice. Or a 4X gold. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, they... <laughs> 4X gold. <coughs> Close. Did you enjoy the 4X? I don't think I opened it. I stuck to my sparkling margarita. Probably probably was, Yeah. A Skullsy like giving you a forex gold is like you know when like a dog drags like a rap a dead rabbit back to you it's to, what it to is. like hear the present. <laughs> it's like I don't want that. Take kind. it. Yeah, I don't <laughs> fucking want that. Very sweet though. One of the bedwitters messaged in saying that they love to hear our biggest drunken injuries. True. So I've already told the one about my tooth. Yep. So we know that I tripped on a bath full of alcohol and my front tooth's fake. Yep. Um, but then it made me remember this absolute ripper of a story. So back in New Zealand over like the New Year's period, everyone, probably when I was about 22, was just obsessed with festivals. So we'd go to like three different festivals from like the 26th of December to like the 3rd of January. Fuck that. Like, and the long ones were like Rhythm and Vines would go for like five nights. Then you had like oh, random, one, random one days and all that. And we went to one in Mount Monganui where my friend did it for her birthday and so she hired a bus that was going to take us from her house to the festival and then the bus driver was waiting around and the bus driver was loose. like He didn't care if we were drinking on it or like yeah, jumping yeah. up and down <clears throat> or whatever. Anyway, so we're on the way back from the festival. So we're all pretty drunk at this point. Mm. And um, we're all sort of like standing up and, and the bus driver's going through windy roads. We're in uh, not farming areas, but lifestyle blocks, yeah. you'd call them. Yeah. And so I'm standing up, like, drunk, like, sw- swaying around with my drink, and everyone's going, sit down, Lou, sit down, like, hold on, hold on. I'm going, whatever, like, dancing around, like, blah, blah, blah. and then the bus driver just breaks. <coughs> I'm at the back of the bus, and I go flying. Fuck, I would have loved to see this. To the front of the bus, and just, like, boof, on my bum. <laughs> And it was like one of those moments where everyone looks at me and it was like, is she going to laugh or is she going to cry? Yep. And I turn around and I'm like, oh, fuck. I shit you not. I had. You shit yourself. No. Okay. The biggest bruise <clears throat> you have ever seen in your entire life covering my whole left cheek. Like it was huge. I couldn't sit on my bum for like 
two weeks. I had to sit like up like this. Really? Yeah, it was massive. Did you get like a, why did he slam the brakes to fucking show you, teach you a lesson? Mm, oh, potentially. You know what I mean? But I think it was, I'm hoping that there was a car in front of us or something. I need to find a photo of this bruise Yeah, for show me the bruise. <clears throat> To be fair, if everyone's telling you to like sit down and stuff, I feel like it's come from the front of the bus. And he's looking in the rear view, just going, This fucking chick is the only one standing up. You know what? Fuck it. Boom. And then dropped you. Yep. Um, I know that I took a screenshot of it recently. Could have gone a lot worse for you. Oh, yeah. Could have like hit your head. Oh, it could have been so much worse. Same situation as when my tooth came out. Could have been horrible. Horrendous. You got any drunk injuries? Yeah, I do. I've got a scar here. Can you see that little scar there? Yep. So I've got a video Minuscule. of this. Minuscule? Pathetic? Yeah. No, but like, this is just a little one and I've got a bigger one. So I got, I was fucking blind and for some reason I was digging a hole with a broken VB bottle and I went Pfft, like that and it just <laughs> cut me up there and the, this flap of skin and there's <laughs> a video of me going like this. Oh, and don't, the, don't, the flap don't. was going up like this. <laughs> the flap <laughs> of skin. I was going, look boys. Don't. <laughs> Went to the doctor the next day. He's like, I just wrapped it up with um, electrical tape. And I went to the doctor the next day and he goes, the fuck did you do? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I was fucking blind. And he's like, you're an idiot. He's like, you could have cut your tendons and like lost all this shit. And he's like, you're a fuckwit. And I'm like, I oh, know. So you could have lost a finger. Well, no, he like lost feeling and movement in my finger. What would you prefer to have no finger or a finger with no movement? No finger. I was supposed to get that amputated when I chopped it off. But it was, there was just enough circulation to keep it. I've got the top of my pinky has chopped off. Yeah, correct. Got chopped off in the hinge of a door. Yeah. I was running upstairs, a fat eight-year-old, dressed up as um, Hanselina. We did a home movie called Hanselina and Gretel. Oh, my God. And I'm dressed up in like a medieval outfit. And How I'm big run- was the fucking door? <laughs> Get that fucking thing in there. <laughs> and I'm running up the stairs and the door slams and it's got caught in the hinge. And then I'm just looking, I'm like delusional. Cause I'm like, what's happened? Look down, blood everywhere. And then my friend's going, I've got the finger. No. She's got like the little tip of me pinky. Fucking hell, dude. Yeah, it could have got the um, the whole thing off and I could have just had four fingers, but I've got five. Well, you're not going to get the whole thing off, Dale. They'll go down to the first knuckle. Well, it, if, if the hinge had gotten bigger. Oh, than, if it had. Sorry, yeah. I thought you meant they were like, we'll chop the whole thing off. No. Like, you don't need to do that. No, it's, now it's just a little, that's my strong hand. It, it is a very attractive pinky. Cr- I don't be, think I'll be able to be a hand model. No, 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 no. Or a face model. Wrecked. Anyway, so, <laughs> wrecked. <laughs> you know, someone came up to me at Beach Road on Saturday night and All said, right. um, oh, I love the podcast, but you know the only reason it's good? Because of Judge. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go, wrecked. <laughs> There are some good wreckings oh. in the co- in the DMs. So though. good. Um, no, I, once I did once I dislocated my shoulder really badly on the piss. So I was sort of at home. It was a Thursday, having a few whiskeys, you know, mucking about, and I was playing with Kobe the dog. Mm-hmm. He's a pit bull. Anyway, I'm mucking around with him, and it's sort of getting rougher and rougher and rougher. He's a good dog. He's never like this was not his fault. This was completely my fault. And I'm I'm pretty pissed. I'm like sort of I don't know half a bottle of whiskey deep, and I've got my arms out like this, like out in front of me, and we're playing, and he jumps on my shoulder, and it just fucking brutally dislocates the shoulder. So it's out, and I'm like, fuck, fuck. And because when I dislocate my shoulder, I rehab it heaps. So, like, all the, the shit around it is, like, quite tight, so it's really hard to get it back in. Do anyway, you have to click it back into place yourself? I can't. I, the doctors can't. They've got to knock me out to do it. So I've been knocked out, like, three times to get my shoulder back in. Anyway, fucking... Steph was like, can't drive, blah, blah, blah. She'd been drinking. And I'm like, we've got to get an ambulance. And i got like ambulance cover. So I'm like, get the cunt. Anyway, they show up. <laughs> this gets pretty funny, actually. And it, they took ages. And I'm like, pretty pissed, but in pretty serious pain. But I'm sort of just like, just deal with it. They come in. They're like, mate, have you been drinking? <clears throat> I said, yeah. yeah, mate. I said, yeah, a little, little bit, not much. He goes, right, we're going to morphine you. I said, the green whistles don't do anything for me. I'm like, give me the strong stuff. So he goes to put the needle in my vein and it just goes, Boof, because I was so pissed and my blood was so thin that it just spurted blood everywhere. And I'm like, oh, sorry, mate. He's like, fucking Jesus, how much have you had, cunt? Gives me Is the more. thing? You are? Is yeah, you, your blood thins out when you're drinking alcohol. Huh. So that's why you bleed a lot. Like if you hit your head or something and you're on the grog, it's like you oh, bleed a lot. Okay. Your blood thins out. Anyway, I'm in the bloody ambulance and I don't remember this. I got told this afterwards. Obviously the morphine's done what it needs to do. I'm in the back of the ambulance and they, they, they let you choose your music to make you feel calm. Now, one would assume I'd choose country music or rap, 
two of my they were my two mm-hmm. favorite genres. And I go, yeah, mate. No, Steph was like, what the fuck? I'm like, put on some um, Miriam Makeba, Ukungomboti, which is like a um, an African song. It's called Ukungomboti. It's about uh, African beer. And, it, and apparently I was in the back of this fucking thing, high as a fucking kite, pissed as a newt, shoulder out of its socket, and I'm just going, Where my lemon? Ukungomboti. Hey, where my lemon? Ukungomboti. And Steph was just like, what the fuck? Fuck. Like, has she ever heard you play never, that song? Never. And I don't know why in my unconscious state that was what I wanted. In, that, in my moment of panic, I needed an African song about beer. It's amazing. Yeah, they got me to the hospital and they had to, like, knock me out and put me in. Um, another time when I did it, they had to knock me out and this bird, she was called Steph as well, she was a paramedic, and she, she said to the doctors, can I stay and watch you put it in? I want to see how you guys do it. And she told Steph that as I was going under... Apparently the anaesthetic was kicking in and there's a famous Alan Jackson song called It's Five O'Clock Somewhere, you know. Mm-hmm. Always have a beer because it's five o'clock somewhere. And apparently yeah. I was going out and I just went, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I just went out. Everyone's like, it what the so fuck? good. <laughs> and I got <laughs> no idea why. It wasn't thinking about the song. Hadn't listened to it that day. It's like when people come out from getting their wisdom teeth out from the dentist and, and they're, they're like kooky. just talking so much shit. Yeah. I what picking, is that stuff? I don't know, but I was picked up my ex-boyfriend from the dentist after he got his wisdom teeth out and he was just like, <laughs> like blood <laughs> everywhere, just like yeah. saying the weirdest shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Singing like weird songs. Is that like, happy gas? I don't know, but I want it. I do too. I want it big time. I do as well. Hey, any dentist out there want to hook us up? Yeah, we'll, 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 Franco? Put, we'll put a story up with our address and just free to, feel yeah. free to send us any send of this. Send us some happy gas. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Le- that's legal, right? Yeah. Usually we do farm terms. Or where Aussie terms. Aussie terms where Jarch says that certain things and I have to guess what they are. But correct. We thought we'd spin things around and put a little twisty on it, twist a rooney, and I will say some New Zealand terms or words, yep. and you have to guess what you think they are. Okay, don't. Okay, so the first one, what do you think of batches? B-A-C-H. B-A-C-H. Bachelor pad. Elaborate. A place where a lot of blokes live together in mm-hmm. a share house. That's their pad. That's their bachelor pad. That's their place. That's their house. That's where they live. Mm, no, like I mean, you uh, it could be, but it's actually what we call a holiday house. So, like you know, how you guys would say, "Oh, you want to go to my holiday house?" We call it a batch. Would that be because it's based off batch, the term bachelor pad? Perhaps, but except but that wouldn't make sense because like families go away to your batch. Or f- yeah, but that's that's why I think you guys would lose a war against us because you're not quite as smart as Australians, so you'd call oh, a holiday okay. house a batch or something like that. You know right. what I mean? Do you know what Is I mean? It? No. You know I, what I mean? I, no, you've lost me that's there. That's why we're the superior nation. Oh, that yeah, sort okay. Of stu- and that sort um, of stuff. I beg to differ. Agree to disagree on that one. We do that Perhaps. a bit. Oh, yeah, we seem to. Mm-hmm. You would assume that if it's called a batch, you're going to, you know, maybe one bloke had a holiday house, he was single, he's like, come or to the Or it's batch. just like how we're sitting on a couch and it's just called a couch. But it's a, that's a slang term, doll. Well, no. Batch is a slang term. No, it's just a batch. But that's a slang term. Well. Couch isn't a slang term. Couch is what no, it is. No, because it's called a batch. We wouldn't call it a holiday house. That's the word for it. I understand that, but it's universally known as a holiday house. Now, you guys in New Zealand call it a batch, which is a slang term well, for a holiday house. couch, sofa. Just different terms. Living chair. I think I'm right. <laughs> Okay. You're wrong. All right, well, I was close. Um, I was pretty close. Yeah, okay, you were kind of close. Yeah. Um, what do you think a scux is? Something that's bad. Like, put it in a sentence for me. He's a scux gun, that bloke. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, he, like he's etch. Oh, you can. It's you know what I mean? Itch. He's yeah. like a bit of a sketchy cunt. Yeah, nah, wrong. It's like player, like a stud. It, she would oh, like, oh, he's a skux. Um, you would be very far from a skux. Correct. I mean, to be honest, I don't really know how common that is now. I remember everyone being like 14, 15 saying it. So was Scribe would have said it. Maybe. Yeah, and Savage and Consai. 
Savage probably would have said skunks. Skunks. Dave, I told you that I grinded on Savage. You haven't. Okay. But I would love... <laughs> I'd love some elaboration. So I we used to have these parties at university in Christchurch called Garden Party and we'd have like famous people come and perform at them. True. And I was absolutely wasted and Savage was leaving and I ran up to him and his like posse. Oh god. And I went, Oh shit, shake it oh, up, I'm now move it like a gypsy. Fuck. Stop ball back it up. Let me see your head swing and was like grinding on Savage. And there's photos of me doing it. What did? What was his reaction? I think he laughed. I think he giggled. It was funny. You telling me that? I'm embarrassed for you. No, it was fun at the time. I know. And appropriate. Like everyone was drunk. It was a bit of fun. Yeah. Oh, let's go grind on Savage. Oh shit! Shake could it you up. feel the? Could you feel the Savage, savage Hammer? Could you feel what he was working? No, with? I wasn't. I was like standing like. I was grind, like air grinding. Oh, fuck me, Lou. Well, you weren't grinding I on Savage. I was air grinding. Oh, I'll find you the photo of me air grinding on Savage. Yeah. What, do you think I'm going to go up to him front on and just grind on his penis? Yeah, that's what grinding is. No. Oh, oh, ha- how about this innocent grinding. Get your this? head out of the gutter. Dude, I um, I hooked up with uh, the guy comes home from the pub and he goes, dude, I hooked up with this fucking oldest chick at the pub tonight. True, what'd you do? I walked up to her and just kissed the air in front of her. Well, that's not hooking up with her, mate. Yeah, well, it's air. It's air hooking up. <laughs> no, you can grind. Dude, on- I totally air fingered her in the bathroom. <laughs> no, you can grind on someone, like not you can't. straight away. You can't grinding on someone well, is literally okay. grinding. Fine, I'll change the story. I danced around Savage. So exactly how you should have put it, because you didn't grind on him, did you? Well, and I, and you sometimes know you I perhaps over exaggerate. <laughs> Just we all, slightly. We all do. We all do. Um, Air grinded, fuck me, dude. What do you think the wop wops is? The wop wops. Yeah. Ugh. Thongs. That's a good guess. Wrong. Fuck. Uh, it's actually like the the wilderness, like the farms. I'd say. Oh, oh Jarch lives in the wop wops. Oh, like whoop whoop. Wop wop. Well, Jarch lives in the wop wops. Oh, Jarch lives on the farm. Oh, Jarch lives in Welco. He's out in the wop wops. So that's what we live in, whoop whoop. Yes. You, you say whoop whoop, we say whoop whoop. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Australians don't call it whoop whoop. Oh, thanks for telling me what my fucking countrymen call it. So you call it, oh, I live in the whoop whoop. He's out whoop whoop. It just means he's out way out. No, you're lying. No, I'm fucking well, not. We call it the whoop whoops. How do you spell it? W O P, W O P. We're W H O O P. W H O. Whoop whoop. You're out whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. You've just made some sounds. Congrats. Good girl. <laughs> really well done. Ooh. Plot twist or just more of a um, curve. We're going around and around about the way that we shouldn't be going. Yeah. I'll just take this elsewhere. Yep. Today I thought in my brain. Mm. You, well, you could, usually think, yeah. You can never make another letter because it's already the sounds you already know. So if I wanted to so if I wanted Love to go sort of if I wanted to go, mm, that's an N or Gah. That's a G or K. That's a K. Do you know what I mean? Like you could never make another letter ever again. Try and make another letter. You can't. It's already the sounds you know. It's A. It's a Z. No, it wasn't. Oh, yeah, that's new. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? Jesus Christ. What is this? Why do people do listen to us? I'm, I don't know. We're trying the to make letters? <laughs> new letters? But I'm intrigued oh, no, by now it. I want to do it. Mm. Oh, that was... Mm. No, that's an M. Yeah. Ah. The Welsh, like two L's is a C, isn't it? What? Two, so there's heaps of L's. I before E except after C. Oh, wow, well, you learned something when you are fucking six. Congratulations, Lou. Really well done. Um, <laughs> I think in the Welsh language, there's a lot of L's. They've only got like 16 letters in their alphabet. Do they and not use the English L's alphabet? Two L's equals a C. Do they not use the English alphabet? So when you were a kid, you were a fat lund. (laughs) 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 So rogue. Oh, my God. Don't listen. That was a Jimmy Carr special. Don't listen to him, Jill. So, Jill. She she wasn't. Okay, what do you think scroggin is? Scroggin? Yeah. That's what I would call like grogging in the scrub. If you're out in the scrub just drinking piss, just you'd be scrub chilling. grogging, you'd be scrogging. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bed winners, mate. You got it. No, I didn't. Wrong. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> <laughs> Eat shit. Those acting classes didn't work. That was pathetic. What is it? I'm just joking. 
You're a good actor. That's really mean. You're a good actor. That's really mean. You didn't convince me with that, though. I think it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> really good? It was pretty good. Yeah. Um, Scroggins like trail mix. So if you're going hiking, you got like your almonds oh. and your cranberry and you're like little, you know, those little yogurt we ones? We got that too. You know, do you know that's the best thing in a Scroggin? The yogurt little, and little the little, Yeah, yes. The little yogurt sultanas. Why the fuck do they not make those anymore? They fucking do. You Where? want to know how I know? Because I bought a punnet of them the other day. Where from? Where? Need to know. Place in North Sydney. And, 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 but it was you only yogurt covered sultanas. I'll get some for Lulu you. Lulu don't want fantails. Lulu wants scrog and Lulu wants sultana raisin I'll covered yogurt some. little They're still fuckers. fucking deadly. Oh, they're so good. Yeah. They can't be too bad for you. Sultanas will help you poop. D- well, if there's one thing I don't need help with this week, it's pooping. Move because it. Because trust me. <laughs> You've done your fair share. I've done my fair fucking share. Um, Pretty sure we got scrog and too, to be honest. Okay, one last one. What do you think chur means? Oh, I know what that means. Oh. Like, cheer, bro. Yeah. Like, like s- thanks. Like, thanks. Yeah. Cheer, bro. Yeah, cheer, bro. Thanks for that, mate. Yeah. Cheer. Dad's cheer, cheer. Dad's from New Zealand, so I'm pretty down with the lingo. Yeah. Every time your dad calls and I'm in the car, he's like, oh, those bloody All Blacks drilling, <laughs> drilling the Wallabies. I'm like, yes. There you go, Louie. You're bloody on the freaking All Blacks. You're like, bloody oath, Miles. I'm like, she wouldn't have watched a fucking All Black play in his goddamn life. Me? Have you? Mate, I'm a huge All Black supporter. Oh, true. Yeah, it's all we'd ever do. Every time they play, that's because that's all there is in New Zealand, rugby union. Correct. No one gives a fuck about There's the Kiwi Warriors. Birds. What? You go watch them too. You've got them as well. What, ki- what do you mean Kiwi birds? That's what you've got. They exist in New Zealand. The birds that don't fly? Yeah. What's that got to do with the All Blacks? Well, you said that's all we've got in New Zealand. I said, well, you've got Kiwi birds. You've got two cool things. How cool is New Zealand? Really lucky. Oh, what have you got? Some... Snakes. Oh, oh, maybe like the deadliest Ooh. animals of all time. Speaking of snakes, there is a TikTok going around of this. You know, I was talking about those pythons. Yeah. No, sorry. What are the biggest ones? Anacondas. Yeah. So they're real. Constricted. Yeah, they are real. So anacon. So there's this viral video going around of like it's the biggest, fattest, thickest mama you've ever seen. They're like. I've heard that before. The. <laughs> They're like the width of this couch. They're like a meter like wide. Yeah. Well. And then they're like. Like a hundred meters long. That's simply incorrect, buddy. Well, in my head, that they're <laughs> disgustingly huge. Yeah, like, they're fucking enormous. Imagine that just like wrapping around you or following you. So do you know what the they've got? Like they've got like essentially, essentially sensors, right? So every time, and that's how bioconstrictor kills you. Every time you release like a little bit of breath, it just goes a little tiny bit tighter until you get to the point where you're restricted of all air. So if you go like, you're like trying to breathe in and as soon as you breathe out a little bit, it goes and tightens you. And if you go a little bit, tightens you until you just suffocates you. It'd be a fucking horrific way to go. Then they eat you whole. That's what I told you last week, yeah. that they swallow you whole and then you just see the body figure in the snake. Yeah, they unlock their jaw. That's why it gets, that's why it gets so wide. Yeah, yeah, they unlock their jaw. Cause like, birds like that too. Yeah, no one wants lockjaw. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, snark, snark. Fuck. You got it. Snakes and sharks. <laughs> snarks. Snake shark. Oh, yeah, that's what snarks. I was trying to say. Yeah. They, um, like, you know, I've got a sick obsession with sharks, but since seeing that big python anaconda mama, now I'm like a little bit intrigued by snakes. Yeah, they're awesome. Well, when I come to awesome. the farm, will there be snakes? Yeah, summertime there will be, yeah. Ones that could we'll kill go me. looking for them. No, no, yeah, no, no, no thank you. you yeah. I don't, I don't want to go looking for them. You can't. could it kill me? Yeah. Uh, well, the ones at the farms. Yeah. Do you walk around in bare feet? Yeah. So you could, you're walking around, you could get bitten and die. Yeah, but look, you fuck. We're pretty I'm coming up. in steel cat boots. Yeah, probably smart just for your f- peace of mind. Yeah. But like you know, like I'm not walking around the fucking property with on bloody bare feet. But like in the yard and that, absolutely not coming to the yard. They're coming to the yard. Mm. <clears throat> Once I watched a gully balala, yes. Sorry. Just pretending to be a slithery snake. I understood that. <laughs> I just, and I just kept going over top of you. I understood that as well. Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> Can't. <laughs> Once we had our cat that we call Magpie. Oh, that's a cute name. And because she was black and white. And there was this red-bellied black snake in the backyard. Now, they're, uh, they're like fucking puppy dogs. They're really quite sweet snakes, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're venomous. You can't they're put top sweet ten. and a snake in the same sentence. You can. Unless it's a gummy worm. 
Snake. Good point. <laughs> That's true. Yum yum. Well, these were like these are like the gummy worms of actual real reptiles, and but they you know they'll fuck with you if they get territorial, but generally they're just gonna slither away from you. You know what I mean? And they also keep bad at worse snakes out, like tiger snakes and brown, eastern brown snakes, because they're quite territorial. So they'll fuck them off. So they're actually not bad to have around. And our cat. There was one in the yard and it sort of slithered up to the cat and the cat was like, oi, bruh, this is my fucking hood. I'd be very careful about what you're doing. And we were too far away and the snake comes up and the cat's like, they're still like uh, fucking tail brushed mm -hmm. and like fur up. The snake like rears its head to the cat. They meet, they essentially like touch noses and then they both just went away at the same time. Just left each other alone. We were like, oh, we're about to see our cat get fucking punctured in the neck. Or she's going to drill this fucking red belly. And they just like were like, they sussed like each other out and they're like, right, I'll see you never. A mutual like, we're not going to do this. Yeah, I think they'll, yeah, they just perceive like when you go on a, a date, threat When you go on a date with someone, it's just mutual, like you're both like, nah. Well, we're both not going to do this. Yeah, we're both not interested. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. Yeah. Like they've got, you know, they've they've met and they've gone, nah, see ya. Yeah, see you never. Nah, sayonara. Not keen. It's fun while it lasted. Yeah. The 45 minute date, see ya mate. You've done a 45-minute date? I've done a 22-minute date. Fuck off. Mm -hmm. Got there and I got catfished. Really? I reckon his photos were from like 2012. P proper? Proper. So I arrived and was like, that's not you from your photos, mate. You are 72 with grey hair. <laughs> no, he wasn't 72. <laughs> his photo is just like a World War II serviceman photo. <laughs> it's black and white. Real handsome motherfucker back in the day. No, but he like was didn't – not that I – yeah, not that I even care that much about looks, but like the vibe was just not there and it was just awkward. And then he was 22 like, 22 minutes. Yeah, and then he was like, Do you want another drink? And I was like, No, I've got dinner. Didn't have dinner. Hey, fuck me. That's the that's a that's quicker than an episode of like fucking Home and Away. Home and Away. Yeah. yeah. Alf Stewart, Stone the Flaming Crows. Get the bloody hell out of there. Wow. Yeah. He would have known. He would have known within the first 30 seconds. But did, were you visibly off it? So awkward and off it. How old was the bloke? 72. Fuck me, yeah, right. You should have tried it, mixed it up, see what those no, 72 it, year olds, they know how to do no, some shit. I'm, I mean, my hinges age rates are high, but not 72. What are we talking? Where are we? No, nah, I've, I've got it to 37. Yeah. It's fine, I'm 29. Yeah, dude, you should probably get it a bit higher. You can I go to 45? Fuck yeah. Nah. So we're looking 45 nah, year old Nah, they've roosters. done too much life for me. 37, even like they've done a bit of life. True. You know, like, well, to be fair, I'm kind of I'm kind of just ready to. You know, be done with it. Maybe I have someone who's 45 and then it's just sort of, you know, over. Correct. Out of the Testosterone's day, lower. They're not going to root as much. You can just sort of live your life and make scones. And I'm actually kidding. I'm going to find the love of my life and be really happy. <laughs> oh, God. This took a really sad, twisted fucking turn. Anyway, uh, should we do the bed winners hotline? Yeah, let's do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get me out of here. Okie dokie, smoky chokey. Purpose together, together can get no love from me. Hanging on the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying, trying to holler at me. Ain't no one no scrub. Scrub is together can get no love from me. Hanging on the passenger side of Oh, I'm connected. You ready for the bedwetter hotline? Yes, I am. Love this fucking. Love They're this so fucking. funny, the bedwetters. Let's see what you got for us, you bedwetting sons of bitches. Hey, Jarchi and Lulu. Lauren here from Sunny Coast. I fucking love the potty. Um, number 20 today was fucking hilarious, I must say. I did love the part where you were talking about the weird kid names. It really fucking got to me. And um, since we're on the topic of weird kid names, I thought I'd swing your yarn, right? So um, my sister's just fallen pregnant with twins, right? And um, me and her were having a chat the other day about um, what she's going to call them. And she's picked out these two names, right? And disclaimer, let's just say there's some pretty fucked up names. Like, personally, couldn't do that to my kids. And I can't emphasise the word fucked enough for you. Um, but she's calling one of them Jachi and the other one Lou. Right? <laughs> it's good. It's I good. I thought she was being legit. I, I was know. like, what? Until the wrecked. wrecked. Pretty fucked up name. That was good shit. That was I love good how shit. we're getting some check um, voice notes as well. 100%. That was fucking pisser. That was a good wrecking. Wrecked. That's what it's all about, getting wrecked. Fan of the podcast, and so is my boyfriend, and I know he'll be listening, so I was just hoping to ask for some advice, because I know you guys are 
pretty well equipped in this area. But we've been dating for three years now. We're both 21. Just one problem. Um, he's a he's a bedwetter. Like, only when we've been out drinking, but he'll just come home, pass out, and piss the bed. And he's like, he's six foot eight, and look, we had to upgrade to a super king so he'd kind of fit in the bed. Super king. And it's just a bit of a hassle, kind of, you know, changing all the sheets of a super king. And I was just hoping you guys could provide some advice for him. And also, do you think it's a green light or a red light that he still does this at 21? Oh, green. I'd love to hear your advice. Uh, um, thank you guys so much. Sorry. Yeah. It's <clears throat> clearly a green. Green. If he's six foot eight, you're in a super king bed, you'd assume he's got. A big bladder. It'd be a lot of bed. A lot of. Do you know what he needs? The beeper. He needs, he needs the, the beeper. beeper when he goes out drinking. He needs the beeper that you attach to your undies, and it beeps when it feels that you're about to piss. Yeah, if it detects moisture, it'll beep. Didn't work for me. I was too deep a sleeper. Same for me. But anyway, try the beeper, sister. <laughs> Give the beeper a go. And also, yeah, it's a green light in piss in the bed at twenty-one. <gasps> That's life. Play on. Play on, player. Yeah, go, fellas. Green light. <laughs> People that name their cars. <laughs> fucking red. Anyway, cheers, fellas. Double loo wrecking. Double loo wrecking. You got a problem with Gianni, mate? Come over here and say it to my fucking face. I will. I'm with him. No, it's cute. Yeah, real cute. Well, I've had Gianni and I've had Pavarotti <laughs> and I've had Stefano. Yeah. Who will be next? Maybe just call it like a Honda Civic. No, I'll never stop naming. <laughs> Oh, I respect it. Naming. Love the hay fellas. I and love also it. the double someone, record. Actually, someone else said that to me at Beachy. It was like, sup, lads. Or <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. It's fucking pisser. Hey, Lou and Jarchi. Uh, love the fucking podcast. You guys are hilarious. Anyway, uh, I know you guys were having uh, a talk a while back now about uh, your your fucking roast competition, you were going to have two more, and then the lo- overall loser gets a tattoo. Well, I think the loser should get wrecked tattooed. Phenomenal idea. Um, Perfect. I thought that would be a, a good one. And also, um, one of the bedwetters last week said, hey, hey legends plus Lou. Um Lou, if anyone ever hits you again with that, just hit them with the old uh, uh, I'm not a legend, legend is something that once was, you're still going. Anyway, guys, uh, nice way to end it. Love the podcast and fucking dead letters for life. Yes. <laughs> that was a nice way to end it. I bloody like that. Yeah, I think, I think that's I like a gr- the wreck. It's a good idea. Where would we get it? I reckon foot. See, the difference is I've got a fair few tattoos. You don't have any. Uh, none. So I don't give a fuck where my I My mum it. would be devastated. Would she? Probably. There's a part of me that I'm like, oh, do I get on my bum? But then I'm like, no. Because if, especially if you got wrecked on your bum, then it's like almost an invitation. For <laughs> <laughs> Foot, I reckon. Foot's probably better. Or I wouldn't. No, nah, because hands it's, you see every day. I was going to say wrecked in between your fingers. Yeah. I think foot. Side of the foot, wrecked. I think, yeah. Yeah. So I'll get it wherever. Or on my toe. I don't care. Correct. When I got this fucking tattoo on my back, I forgot that mum didn't know and I was at home. I think maybe for Christmas and I was just in the kitchen with my shirt off and I just hear, what is that? And I turn around and I go, what are you doing? I was really hungover. And she goes, what is that on your back? And I go, what's your back tear? That's a knife. And... <laughs> Daggers in your it's, back. It's, yeah, but it's got no meaning. I just was like, I was half pissed and I was like, I like it there. I think I like it there. I thought about it and I was like. So you just got a dagger in your back. Yeah. It's like going through the skin. You know what I mean? It's right. like a Sailor so been, Jerry style. You've been stabbed. She cried on that one. When my brother got his, my brother's got two tattoos. When he got his first one, it was around his ankle. Jill cried. She was like, it's just not my go. Yeah, yeah. It's just some parents just don't fucking like them. Yeah. I, I used to not be a big, like I don't have any myself. I used to not be a big tattoo girl. Then I got with the guy with tattoos and play on. Let me give you that tip. If he's girls got with tattoos, get me going. Oh, you, you like a tat girl. Love it. Love it. Like if she's got like a sleeve. Yep. Wow. Anything. Next one. Hey, you cunt. <laughs> it's the Zinger Box dribbler here. Um, red light, green light. Uh, you, you never... You, when you go out and, and you... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. 
That was good. It was so good. <laughs> that was good. The singer box dribbler. Good I've got ri- to write that down. I've hey, written down all of the j- yeah, best write names. Down. Just as a heads up, that was a yeah, green light, mate. I couldn't agree with you more. And well articulated. <laughs> well articulated. Should we do a random? Just pick a Randy. Mm-hmm. The singer box. Hey, guys. It's Dodo here. I've got a red light, green light for you. Uh, red light, green light, if you're listening to a podcast and one of the co-hosts <laughs> believe they're a really good singer and nearly every week they try to sing. Um, yeah, fuck. Rick! Anyway, have a good one, guys. Thank you. Oh, I'd say it's a fucking red, mate. I'd, I'd go green. You'd Let go, people be. Would you? you? Know? Yeah. yeah, just do, do what you love. Full green. Dream big. Yeah. Dream big, mate. <laughs> dream big, baby. Dream bloody big. Maybe you just dream a little less, a little smaller. Well, I mean, I've got to dream big for this live performance. You do. When are we going to do it? I think we do it the 16th of December. 16th of December. Okie doke. It's a Friday night. Yep, I can do that. Done. Fuck yeah, cunt. We need to call the pub. Yeah, but it's for life. Let yeah, them yeah. know I'm coming. Let them know the big dog LDD's in town. Well, Lou, we we actually don't need to do that. For, for what? Per, for what? To what well, end? To what end? A few people might turn up. Yeah, but that will prom. We'll, we we'll tell people. I reckon they just need to be aware I'm going to be singing. You're not check, fucking. Got, you're not fucking Beyonce, mate. Check they've got the song I need. Perhaps I could go on for a rehearsal. <laughs> Jesus. We're calling them. All right. I'll, yeah, I'm happy to call them, but it's odd. No, it's not. It's professional. Hey, we're coming down with a really good singer. Just letting you guys know there might be some fans. <laughs> or just <laughs> patrons at the pub. How are they going to tell the difference between the concert to be there on a Friday normally and the people who listen to the podcast? Well, there'll be people crying at the front row about my, how good my voice That's is. That's a very good point. Yeah, and throwing bouquets of flowers. Bouquets of flowers. And then someone just pegs a schooner straight at your fucking skull. That's more likely. It's more likely. Again. Get her off! It's going to be a glassing. I can see it. I can foresee a glass. Do I do it in my flannelettes? I think you do it in whatever the fuck you want. Okay. Well, how do you feel, it, buddy? That's pretty. It'd be fucking hilarious. Content is king. I reckon I do it in my polar bear flannelettes. God Jesus, I'd love that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, doke. Well, sixteenth of December. Any of you bed want to come down? We'll get a fucking time location. We'll update on the socials too. Um, I like that potty. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. It's good, I reckon, that they're a little bit longer these days. Yeah, everyone's... 45 seen, was a bit too... Nah, everyone likes them hitting the old hour mark. Yeah. Everyone wants two a week, Judge. I, I'd love to do that. Yeah, I've got content coming out my ears, coming out my mouth. When I don't have to work full time anymore, I'll do fucking two a week. Oh, well, yeah. In a heartbeat. Done. Anyone listening there want to sponsor so Judge can <laughs> Yeah, I'm still job. a corporate fucking shill, so don't worry about it. Um... <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening, you bedwetting. Thanks, guys. Everyone go follow the At What We Mean Well Instagram and TikTok yeah. and Jarchi89 and Louisa Delden. We love you guys. We bloody love you guys. Thank you, everyone, for listening. We're getting a lot of good support and feedback, and we actually bloody appreciate you bedwetters. A-, a lot more than you ever know. Yep. Um, so thank you, you mob, and... Uh, ciao, ciao. Hooroo. Talk to you.